You are the average of the five idiots you hang around with. <laughs> this is one of those quotes or books you hear about years ago, and yeah. then they just kind of keep hearing it, and you're like, yeah, that, that does seem kind of true. Right. You, uh, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. I'm thinking this comes from Jim Rohn. Okay. Right. Or he said it, but it, looks like, it looks like it's a quote from him, yeah. He might have stole it from Tim Ferriss. We, we do not know. <laughs> you are the average of the five people you associate with most, so do not underestimate the effects of your pessimistic, unambitious, or disorganized friends. That's funny coming from him. Uh, if someone isn't making you stronger, they're making you weaker. That's right. that's definitely something that we reoccurringly see all the time is that you will be constantly inundated with other people's ideals, other people's thoughts, motivations. If, if they're trying to get stronger, you'll try and get stronger. Like, that's exactly what we see. You're just going to be playing in the realm of if the guy next to you isn't going up, they will also try and kind of negatively hold you down. Right. So, you right. Know. What kind of eyes are these? <laughs> and eye eyes. <laughs> single observer eyes. Single, yeah, it's just very single observer. Yeah. Very and eye. They just they, like, interestingly enough, they look in kind of one direction. You know, you can tell it's like, where are you looking? I'm looking out into the future. Yeah, <laughs> double observer eyes is a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, lens going on there. Right, we, right. We've noticed. Um, okay, so one thing that I was really processing is that I took another run at uh, watching a Donald Hoffman interview. One thing that he really pointed out, a, a, um, an analogy that really kind of hits home from the average idiot, is that he says when they're really looking at evolutionary psychology and running it in different simulators and stuff and stuff like that, the species that is geared for truth, mm. I'm here to see the truth. <laughs> I'm here to see clarity. That's why I'm subscribed to all these news sources and all these people and all these friends because I need the truth. Okay, great. Well, the tests that they do show that the ones that are built for truth <laughs> get their ass kicked by the species that's there for fitness payoffs. Oh, wow. So yeah. for example... Accuracy versus fitness. Okay. We're all losers stuck at home and Donald Trump is the president. <laughs> I'm here for truth. I want to know the realness of things. Anyways, he's busy running to the top. And so it's that kind of thing that they're finding. It's another example they gave is like, say, for example, you're playing Grand Theft Auto, your favorite video game. <laughs> And you're actually... As I do. You've now spent the two years of just running around causing mayhem and chaos. You realize, wait, there's actually like missions in the game. <laughs> so you actually fumble... Wait, who is, dis who is discovering this? Some IJ somewhere. That guy. So years later, now that you're like a proficient in all the weapons and know the whole layout <laughs> back and forwards. For years playing it the same and I way. You ace the missions now that you find out those missions. <laughs> So say you're going to play a mission yes. in your favorite video game, which is Grand Theft Auto. So you have two different players playing Grand Theft Auto. And okay. what he was describing is, imagine a player stepping into the avatar, stepping into that computer world, simulator world, and walking around the town going, wait, these are just pixels. <laughs> and it's, it's associated to code. And there's a computer guy that wrote the code. And I can see the matrix. Right. Meanwhile, Billy Blow Johnson is just <laughs> running through fucking town, grabbing cash on his fucking way to the top. You don't give a shit. <laughs> right, CJ? Right, right, right. Yes, he's the one that would win the game because he's not as accurate as what you're saying. Right. Yeah, okay. Right. Got so it. it's like it's like okay, whoa, 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 wait a minute. So it's like what he what Donald Hoffman is seeing and, the, and the, the, all these science guys and all that kind of stuff is like because our minds are so wow. addicted to I want to know more of the truth. That's great. But in a lot of times, you just get your ass kicked by the person that doesn't give a shit about truth. They just yeah. want to get the fitness payoff right, right, of right, right. a spouse or food or status or a job or whatever. Right. Because if it is about survival, if the whole thing is about you're either going to make it or you're not going to make it, and you're stopping to go, hold on, everybody, we need to stop and pause and see if we can see more, if we can <clears> see more. And then, you know, before you know it, a hurricane takes you right. out. It's like... Well, if you were looking out and around and playing the game of survive, grab food, go, 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 like you're going to survive. Right, because how many naturally. times have we had a boss that's dumber than you? Oh, wow. Well, and yeah. it's just a delusional idiot that yeah, doesn't yeah. pay attention and isn't, you know, connecting to different news sources or friends or people. They're right. just in their own world focused right. on being the top of the little shit show at your job. Right. right. And either one, you're both seeing some kind of illusion. This one is seeing an illusion. By the way, it's still an illusion that you can actually see things accurately. That's right. my favorite. You're still cherry picking information that you're letting in. You're still delusional illusionally only seeing this much of reality and thinking that you can accurately see something. Whereas this guy is, he's delusionally seeing something too. I just going to grab stuff and go. Either one, what's the purpose? This guy's surviving. This one's maybe surviving, maybe not. Either one is still living in their own simulation. They're right. still living in, this guy's living in his video game. This guy's living in his you, video game. You hear a lot of the motivational people talk about like careful, just browsing through the news. Oh God. Or just, just browsing through the TV or just browsing through whatever yeah. friend wants to text you. Yeah. Like, oh, I have to pay attention to the latest and loudest. Otherwise I don't know the truth. Oh, I know. 
You know? And it's like, okay, hold on. But there's still, you're still the one bringing in the random in a very consistent, uh, repetitive way. You don't even realize it. You think you're open to everything, but there's still some narrowing down happening, you know? And, and therefore, if there's already narrowing down happening, not even just talking about algorithms, that's not, not even that, but like, unconsciously, you're still going to be like, I want to hear things like this. I want to search after things like this. Or I might read a whole article and only see the one thing that, you know, is according to my saviors or that right. I even like. You're narrowing stuff down, whether it's consciously or unconsciously. Why not make it conscious? Right. Why not choose? I mean, you and I have been very aggressive of like, these are the only people I will follow on Pinterest. These right. are the only things that I will let into my mindset and videos that I will watch during the morning, right. during the afternoon, during the day. Like we just got to the point where we're like, I accept that I can't see everything. Donald Hoffman is the you know concept that we slap on it. Like right. I accept already, I can only see an extremely narrow perspective of reality and whatever I let get in, whether it's your five friends, whether it's the motivational videos that you watch, whether it's the unconscious stuff that you're taking in, all day long, just take a hold of that. Take control of that. You're already getting inundated with some kind of delusion. You can't see everything. You might as well choose. Choose the input. Choose the conditioning. Your brain is constantly being like, if you believe that your brain is a computer program, which we kind of do a lot at this point, just choose what you're uploading every yeah. single day. And yes, every single person around you and all of the stuff that you're inputting from the media or whatever it is, that is creating over time who you actually are. We were like, we've become wizards at playing Grand Theft Auto. And, and, it's, and we've been, become stunningly good. Um, we used to be really bad at playing our interface and, and we died from, from not being able to take out, you know, problems in, in the body and so forth. And, and now we've gotten really, so we're wizards at Grand Theft Auto. But now imagine someone who discovers that Grand Theft Auto, that's just the program on the screen that you're seeing. There's all the circuits and software and they actually get access to the code. And they realize that they can hack the code. They can start to do stuff to Grand Theft Auto that the wizards are going to go, that is magical. I had no idea that you could do that. So the wizards themselves will be left in the dust.